William, you said mm. an interesting fact about teacups. So, yes. so we need the answer to this. Well, one, one of my the banes of my life is when people, you say, whether they're in films, TV, on stage, or in real life, are sitting there drinking their tea with their little finger extended because they think it's posh. Now we all know it's not, but actually, although it does have its origins in the aristocracy of France, um, but it was not what people think it. Is. So, in effect, in um, the court of Louis XIV, where sort of the word etiquette itself sort of was invented uh, or created, uh, tea was had just come in from China. It was very expensive, and thus only the aristocracy were drinking it because they could they could afford it. And it was drunk at the end of a meal. Now, as you know from your basic French history, the French at the time yeah. were quite promiscuous, uh, and you know, husbands and wives or whatever they would be a lot of bed sharing, swingers. And it was <laughs> thus because of that there was uh, quite. Quite a lot of sexually transmitted disease that was going around, in particular syphilis. Mm. It was not considered polite in the court of Louis XIV to sleep with someone without telling them in advance that you had syphilis. So a silent etiquette was created that when you were flirting with them across the hall of mirrors or wherever, you would drink your tea and extend your little finger as a subtle non-verbal communication that FYI I have syphilis. And then of course, if you extended your little finger back wow. at me, great, because you can't get it twice. And uh, and that was that was that. So people think they're doing it to be posh, but you're doing it. That's you're basically saying you've got the clap. <laughs> <laughs>